This video is sponsored by NBA 2K20. It's another day on the wood, boss. How you got to look at it? Yeah, well, maybe for you. How many scouts you think made out to Montana to check on me, huh? Don't listen to him, Jonas. Che ain't got no worries. This don't pan out. Adam Silver will probably mention him himself. Poster boy for principal. <laughs> That's funny, Onyx. Well, I'd rather be the boy getting posted if it means I'm making a squad, you feel me? What's up, fellas? Hey, Whoa, what's Scotty up? Pitt. What's up, man? Yeah, a lot of history in this locker room, man. Yeah, check this out. Take a look at this. You know, I'm from Arkansas. Youngest of 12. My dad worked in a mill. Nothing special about the way we grew up. Just poor folks. Sure some of you guys can relate to that, right? Yeah. You know, coming out of high school, I was only 6'1". 150 pounds. Wet. I only received one offer. Central Arkansas. And that was to be the team manager. <laughs> but something happened. Between my freshman and my junior year, I caught inches. Yeah. I was 6'7 and starting to feast on cats. But this ain't no Duke. This Central Arkansas. My coach is going crazy, going broke, calling all over, trying to get scouts just to come check me. But my senior year, a man named Marty Blake. Marty was known as the super scout for the NBA. He's helped out a lot of people like myself, John Stockton, Ben Wallace. He got us each into the Portsmouth invite, which changed our lives. If you want it bad enough, if you're willing to sacrifice, it will find you. I got six of those to prove it. What's more motivating than having an NBA championship ring right there in front of you. An NBA champion, six-time champion, Hall of Famer Scottie Pippen. When legends talk, you gotta listen. You gotta beast and feast on these cats. Those were his words. <laughs> he had that crazy growth spur. It was just like Michael Jordan. He grew a few inches and all of a sudden now he's the GOAT. <laughs> For some reason, this game is not on the 2K camera and I can't change the camera. At least it's not broadcast view, so we'll be all right. This view is okay. It's almost the same thing. We're tilted a little bit, but I've got confidence. We got to show out though. This is a very important game. We got to raise up that draft stock. They haven't really been talking too much about the draft. We see the countdown. Oh, look at the speed and transition. Uh-oh. We have to be able to test out these new ratings, and I like what I'm seeing right there going coast to coast. I could not be stopped. And I've been making my free throws, too, in the games that I've played, so I already know that should drop 91%. I love the new attribute system, so yes, Moses Ka will be returning for 2K20. It's going to be a fun year. I know that I'm faster than everybody on the court because of that transition. Ooh, the sham god. Oh my goodness, that's dirty. Woo. I'm getting fancy out here. Let's see what we can do now. Going behind the back. Got a reaction. Uh-oh, another hop step. They got to foul me and won. I've got six points already. I have all of my team's points here in the first minute and a half. And now he's picking me up at the half court line. You don't want to do that. See, it's too easy. Shoot it. Don't be scared to shoot. I'm on the glass. I'm being a bully. Give me that rebound. Let me get that. Ah. Teammates are always stealing my rebounds. I'm trying to cheese these stats. Quick crossover move. Wouldn't that be something if I score every point for my team? I can't be stopped. Every possession I'm doing, whatever I want, I'm getting into the paint. Maybe I should really test my fire. Just start launching threes. Can I get somebody leaning? I actually haven't done that yet. I want to drop somebody to the floor. Double teams. <laughs> 11 points later, they're bringing a double. 
I'll take the assist. I don't mind getting assist. I love getting the assist. I love the dish. I love getting that double-double. Oh, nice defense. Let's go. Nobody can catch up. We're going to slam this one. I'm showing off tonight. This pressure defense is making it easier for me to get by him because he can't guard me all the way back there. If I can't shoot from half court, why are you bothering me there? Oh, I can't miss. Look at that tough layup. I might as well pop a three because I'm on fire or something. Something is just... I'm getting glitchy. I'm going to just take this from way downtown. Good contest. Our team is fighting. Rebound for me. They've been stuck at 11. Ah. Oh, give me that. You don't deserve that steal. I deserve to get it back. Give me the assist. Let's go. They've been stuck at 11 for a while. For a few minutes. Can we keep them there at 11? I'm going to block that. Good defense, another rebound. Turn it on the Jets. One man fast break. Maybe it's this camera angle. Maybe that's why I'm playing so glitchy. I'm gonna just have to let it fly. They're gonna bring a double team. They know I'm glitchy. Look at that, perfect release on the dish. That's my bad. See, they got eyes in the back of their head. It doesn't matter. He can't make the shot. I'm gonna just pull up for three. Why not? I love the new green release, that little splash animation under your player. That is hilarious. Keep them to 13. They did get lucky and finally score after being stuck at 11 for so long. Give me that. I got them cold. I'm ripping them. I'm a thief. Five finger discount. I'm shoplifting. Can I drop 30 in the first half? Two minutes to go. I think I can do it. This could be two. Got to keep this tempo up. They are really struggling. Look at that shot attempt. Still stuck at 13. I'm too fast. Look at me. Look at me go. They got a foul again. Wow. I think I picked the right build. Obviously, we need to see what happens in the NBA, but I'm feeling very comfortable. I like all of the things I'm able to do. I can even make layups. I'm even slashing good, but we'll see what happens against NBA players. Normally, I want my player to have like 85 layup, maybe even higher. Oh, they're throwing lobs. They're getting fancy when they're down by this much. I'm gonna just pull it, splash. Ah, foot on the line, I think. Just imagine Moses could playing in this game right now. You know how many blocks I'm about to get with Moses this year? <laughs> oh, that's a glitchy release right there. 15 seconds. That's plenty of time to go for 30 in the first half. Look at that. They're just going to let me walk right into the paint. <laughs> Unstoppable first half performance. So look at that cheese. I guess it was just a first half game or it was just one 10 minute quarter. Because the game is over. 31 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists. I've unlocked some more attribute caps. No badges just yet. And my draft stock is rising from a late second round to a mid second round pick. Hey, there he is, Elche. You know A.W.? Not personally. What has heard of me? I think you're on that first on the 18 team that we wrecked at the World Cup. I was, of course. I was put to And yeah, here we are. In the same draft class. I guess I'm doing require extra seasoning, huh? Experience is an asset. It's cool to talk to you that play, boy. Library card is free. My sweat is nuts. Okay. Uh, well, you two are going to be workout partners and roommates. That'll be fun. All right, so come over here and I'm going to show you what the next 12 weeks of your life is going to be like. Okay? Movie time. Three months, guys. Three months dedicated to the game you live for. Is that too much to ask? No, sir. No. Sure. 
Cool. Great. That's what I thought. Okay, let's move on to the schedule. Hey, Dean? How do you do the... Oh, there's a button actually called calendar. Oh, great. So... Official Combine invites go out the first week of May. If you're both invited, we'll go out to Chicago on the 16th. After that, we'll be arranging some private workouts with interested teams up until draft week. And then, Summer League. But for now, for the next three weeks, you guys are gonna be in the gym. Your food is gonna be delivered to your apartment. Now, I don't need to tell you how quick perception can turn. You're gonna find the road is real treacherous if you find yourself fighting for a job in Summer League, understand? Okay, now, let's talk social media. All right, I mean, I get it. You're young guys. If you wanna post something, get your trainer to send you some workout footage. I'm sure people would be stunned to find out that dudes who get paid nine figures actually work on their craft. Okay, any questions for me? Uh, no, no, I'm good. Perfect, perfect. Feel that? That's the anxiety, all right? Use it, let it fuel you. I mean, Jesus, look at me. I'm sweating like a fat kid at a candy shop. Speaking of, I'm gonna get some popsicles. You want some? We have a whole time. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. All right, well, I'm gonna make a dent. Made a little extra. Thanks. <sighs> Who's your squad? It was the Ornett. But to is a mentor. Lily Taj has been playing with teams in my draft range. Milwaukee, Washington, New York. Smart. Get used to the rosters and rotations. Where does he think he will end? All over the map right now. Second round or undrafted, unless I put in some serious work. It shouldn't have to be that hard. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. I thought your teammates was a victim, that's all. I mean, you act like you know what will happen. I didn't really think about it. Well, my father used to say, an educated man is a calculating one. If you don't regret it, own it. Hey, you're a pretty blunt dude. I'm French. Come on, pick a team that could actually use you. All right. Gentlemen, Stacy Gibraltar. I'm your trainer for the next couple months. Just because you don't scoff doesn't mean you're enlightened. Fact is, over the next few weeks, you will despise me. And come July, hopefully, we'll be lifelong friends. We'll meet here every morning at six to prepare for the combine. After lunch, you hit the court. Have you received your first week's supply of food and supplements? Yes, ma'am. It's not the army fellows, loosen those shoulders. Make sure you follow the instructions exactly as they're written, otherwise you'll just be wasting your time in here. Stretch out, boys. Replenish, uh, catch. Oh man, that was good. How'd they do? They finished, so better than some. Better than some, that's not really the uh, report card I was hoping for. Uh, Guys, funny story. Uh, there was actually a kid two years ago who had to change his shorts about halfway through his first workout with Stacey. What? That's foul, man. Yeah, I know. It was gross. Uh, anyway, he didn't really get drafted. I think he's in Uruguay now. Not really sure why I told you that story. What is this, 50? 15. Okay, weird. Okay, AW, you can chill. And uh, Che, I need you neat and tidy because we have a meeting in an hour. A meeting with who? Who knows, man? Come see. Come on, Bailey. <laughs> Later, Stacy. Bye, oh, Zach. My back, Stacy. Bon chance. Whew. Hey, you want to tell me what we're doing here? Not particularly. Mav will see you now. Great. You mean with Maverick Carter? Yeah, man, act natural.
Guys, look, unless we're talking real partnership, we're not going to be interested. I won't be able to get LeBron to move off his couch unless it's equity. So thanks. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Have a seat. That's all good. So look, uh, Mav handles all of LeBron's marketing and off-court opportunities. Community work, the film TV, the Beats deal, and of course, the lifetime contract with Nike. Hey, how do y'all know each other? Z and I go back a ways being in this business, but the thing I appreciate about Z, besides being a great agent, is he really lets his players grow and make their own decisions. See that? 10 out of 10 review. I gotta add that to my Yelp page. So look, Che, look, I like you. Bron does too. But here at Uninterrupted, what we focus on is really giving athletes a voice, really giving them a platform to become more than an athlete. Hey, uh, tell them what you told me on the phone. Look, I know you're focused on the draft, and that's the right thing, because that's most important to you, but we've talked to a couple brands, and they're interested. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They saw what you did at Bay City, and most importantly, they're interested in your story. But, look, before you get excited, you got to realize one thing. These aren't, like, super rich deals that are going to change your life. And there's nothing wrong with taking these short deals along the way, as long as you don't sacrifice the long money. Yeah. See, look, Jay... Uh, in the grand scheme of things, these guys are putting down loose chains to tie you up for like a couple years. Now, if you flame out, that's the cost of doing business. But if you blow up, they just got Fifth Avenue product for Canal Street prices. And right now you're hot, but along the way, you have to figure out what type of player you think you're going to be. Forget what Z thinks or what I think. What do you think you're going to be? Do you think you're going to be all pro and all star or do you end up overseas? But you really got to focus on getting to that second contract because that becomes life-changing. So, you thinking about what Mav said? Mm-hmm. Got any wisdom for me, Mr. Super Agent? Well, in my opinion, it never hurts to listen, but I'm not you. I can't tell you what kind of player you'll become. I might as well listen to the offer. It doesn't mean I'm gonna accept it. That's bad business if you don't at least listen. Let's hear him out then. Okay, I'll set it up. Yo! Che. Carl, what up, bro? What up, man? Appreciate you coming out. Just trying to get this work in. Oh, it's all good, bro. Oh, cool. Uh, listen, I could give you the whole spiel about Gatorade's lab, tech, products, and history, but let's be real. What have you been drinking at every single camp? at every game, at every part, since you could dribble the rock. Gatorade? Exactly, and what's your flavor? Citrus cooler, man, long live. <laughs> exactly, hey, listen, pretenders can never compete with the original, and that's just facts. Hey bro, that was a pretty slick pitch you got there. Right, and I even have to use the like Mike bit. <laughs> you know what's going on here? Je ne sais absolument rien. Do what? <laughs> Woo! Cheat day, boys! Celebrate! What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that both of you just got your official invites to the 2019 NBA Combine. Yes! Yes, you've earned it, Che. Good job. You I wasn't too worried about. I mean, look, you may already know this, but you're being brought up to Chicago for some interviews and measurements. No scrimmages, no testing. No sense in jeopardizing your stock at this point. In fact, just do a few good team workouts, and who knows, you may even move up a few more spots. But, see, I'm not afraid of computing. I know, I know, A.W. Look, it's not about pride, okay? There's just no upside at this point. Rest, you know, show them you're the big dog in a bit. You, on the other hand, Che, just, look, put up some decent numbers, do well in the scrimmage, and you never know, right? Like, guys like, uh, Levine, Siakam, I mean, they all flew up the boards after Chicago. This could be your time. I mean that. Speaking of Chicago, enjoy the deep dish, gentlemen. Personally, I'm not a fan, but uh, bon appetit. French. All right. 